Well, it's Johnny Candle here. Uh, we're rigging the 2075 Pro V Bass from Lund. We've got two talons on the back, and what I'm going to do this year is use these quick release disconnect plugs made by Minn Kota. These are pretty neat. Rather than splicing some kind of plug from your local hardware store, these actually replace the existing power cables on your talon. So we have to take some stuff apart. We have to remove this cover. We're going to take wires off and replace them with this new cord. So follow along while we get her done. It's really not that hard. So once we open the package, you're going to see a couple of things. You're going to see two cords. One connects to your batteries. One connects to the talon. And then they uh, have connectors to join them together. You'll see three pieces of heat shrink. Those are important. And you'll also see some directions, and I'll be the first to admit I don't like reading directions, but in this case, you just might want to. They're going to instruct us the first thing we need to do is remove this cover. There's six screws on one side, two on the other, and a regular Phillips screwdriver takes them right out. Okay, so we have the cover off. Now we need to disconnect the correct wires. The first one is this green wire here that's spliced to another green wire. The next one is this black wire that's connected to the control panel. And the last one is the white wire on the bottom. We do not want to disconnect the red and black power cables from the lift motor. So again, it's green, black on the control panel, and white. We'll take those off and show you what to do next. We've got all the wires disconnected. Now we need to go around the other side of the talon and remove this little clip right here that holds the existing power cord in place. So now we have all the wires connected and we slid the heat shrink in the right positions. You want to make sure to put the heat shrink on before you make all your connections. Now we'll use a heat gun, heat them up, shrink them right down. The last step is replacing the cover, which is kind of tricky because there's three pieces and you only have two hands, but it's really not so bad. Make sure all the screws are snug. Last thing we need to do is remove the fuse from the old power cable and put it on the new one. So that's it. It's really not that complicated. If I take the video out of this, probably takes about 15 minutes to complete the job start to finish. It makes a nice clean factory look. And if you want to take the talons off, just unscrew the power cord, loosen the bolts and lift it off. It's that simple. Stay tuned for more boat rigging videos on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, Johnny Candle.